Kyiv Telefilm Company. Without you. Episode 7. Don't you know you can take this out of the archives? I can't. I didn't know. I was going to do some research tonight. I'll put them back right after. Okay. Right. Why are you so moody? What happened? Nothing. Never mind. It's just... It's just what? You know, catching the ghost was my life's dream. I lived for it. And I never thought what would happen next. After you... arrest him? Yes. Maybe you will go back to your normal life without surveillance, chases and adrenaline. I forgot what normal life looks like. I've drifted apart with all my friends, because I was always at work. So what? Now you can start a new life? As for friends, I think real ones never go away. That's what friendship is about. Explain. What do you want me to explain? You claim that Clara is the ghost. You could point finger at anyone, including your lawyer. Such accusations needs to be proven. Okay, Boomer. You want a proof? You'll get it. Clarita put up a camera in her room herself to confuse the police. I helped her. She didn't tell me why she needed it, though. Are you satisfied? Do you have a video of you two mounting the camera? No. You can look for the digital trace. She was streaming the video to herself. The person who installed the camera can send the signal anywhere, including to Clara. So it doesn't compute. <laughs> Why even talk to him? He's on her side anyway. I heard Clara telling mom that she had a crush on him. A crush? What does that mean? That you two are making out. Do you have proof? Screw you. Screw him and his proofs. Can you testify about a crime Clara committed herself as the ghost? I can. She killed this accountant last Friday night. There were news online that he had hung himself or poisoned. I heard her talking about it on the phone. The Sadovia murder? That's right. Doesn't work. Why is that? Clara had an ironclad alibi for that night. What alibi? We might be able to refute it. I don't think so. Clara spent that Friday night with me. I was on a date with her, working undercover. The entire encounter was filmed. I assure you she didn't have time to kill someone across the city. So your claim that Clara is the ghost has no grounds. Oh, Mom, here you are. Why are you sitting here alone? Come on, let's eat. No, baby, thank you. I'm not hungry. Problems at work? No. Everything is fine. Everything's well at work. You fought with Georgi, right? We broke up. Your husband was right. Mommy, come on. You know, what hurts most is that I've never known true love. Mommy, you will be loved again. Forget about this Georgi, he isn't worth it. I'd love to, but I can't. He is blackmailing me with my nude photos. Mom, why did you let him take them? I didn't. It just happened. You can't be successful in business and clueless in your love life. 
Mom, just please don't tell anyone. I will fix it. I will sort it all out. Do you promise? How low can a man be? Low. But I loved him. I didn't think I'd ever say that. But thank God and the cops for me being followed one night and locked up on another. Best alibi ever. Here. I've double-checked. The ghost was using Clara's Wi-Fi to transmit the data. Your home network was hacked. Either the ghost is a hacker, or he's working with one. What if this Jeka, your neighbor, hacked into it? No chance. Jeka? All he can do with the computer is play video games. A lifelong D student, unlike his brother Dan. The guy with cerebral palsy? Oh, shit. What? I know where I saw this Maria the masseuse. She used to work for my aunt. Ella gifted her to Dan for his 18th birthday. What do you mean, gifted? Booked him a prostitute. You think it's him? I don't know what to think. I don't want it to be him. He's a decent guy. He always fixes my laptop and never charges me for it. Fixing your laptop? You should start with that. Answering the network. The ghost didn't even need to hack into anything. You gave it to him on a platter. Do you realize all your passwords are in your browser? What do you want from me? Do I look like a hacker? Okay, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. Clara, are you good at teen slingo? More or less. What is a crush? A crush? Someone you're in love with. Why? No, nothing. Nadia, are you sure you want to go? Petrova will be there, and you two are at loggerheads. She is at loggerheads with me. I don't give a damn. If she thinks she won, she has another thought coming. He probably thinks I'm weeping alone at home. Fat chance. She is in for a surprise. Does Dmitro know about the party? I don't report to him. Well, I'm ready. Are you sure you should wear these heels? You're expecting... I'm pregnant, not sick. Don't treat me like a cripple, okay? Okay. <laughs> what did I tell her? I told her this gigolo would dump her sooner or later. Didn't I? Oh, Alexa, you are talking about my mother. I'm sorry, darling. But you have to admit, it was obvious from the start. Let's think about how we can help her. Why would I help her? My mother-in-law hates me. She has made her bed. Let her sleep in it. What if she can't fix it? Can you imagine this scandal? My mom can handle it, but you have a campaign running. Or do you want to see our family in tabloids? My mother-in-law is my cross. She screws up again and again. Alexa, will you help fix it? Of course, my darling. You know I'll do anything for you. You're the best. And, Alexa, please, don't tell Mom that I asked you to help. Oh, Lisa, you're raining on my parade. Oh, Clara. Hi. Come in. What a nice surprise. Come on in. 
Do you have news about Jekka? No, she's still under arrest. I stopped by to ask, how are you? Not that good. Mom is worried sick, and so am I. Come on in. Thanks. I heard you were dating a cop? No, I'm not dating him. Okay. You know what I find funny about you? You always loved comics, but you collect supervillains instead of superheroes. So what? Nothing. It just seems a bit weird. Are you here to talk about comic books? No, about you and the ghost, if you know what I mean. No? I will explain. Zheka is... A good executor, but he lack the wits to come up with their gonna something big, unlike you. Clara, if you imply that I am the ghost, you're very much mistaken. I'm just a helpless, disabled. I can't do anything big. Who are we to our society? Pitiful, daft, harmless cripples. We are being ignored, overlooked, despised. No one takes us seriously. Sometimes it can come in handy. That's what I mean. I heard you might go to jail. My brother gave a statement against you. Is that why you're here? To complain or to ask me for help? Can you help me? Of course. My brother looks up to me. I could put in a word for you. Not for free, of course. You want money? Money? Money is nothing for me. I want you. Your love. Stay with me and I'll give you the world. And if I say no? Will you kill me like you killed Maria? It's up to you. Why did you kill her? She didn't hurt you in any way. She looked at me in the same condescending, pitying way. Sometimes that's enough. Thank you for your help, Clara. What are you doing here? I didn't do anything wrong. Do you have it on tape? Yes. Here. You really are a rat. It beats being with you. Have you thought about your mother? Take him. You can't have her. I'll do anything I can to get to her. She will be with me or with no one. Take him away. I will find you anywhere. She will be mine. Thank you. Don't get upset. What shall I tell Elia? That I helped get Bo, her sons, arrested. She is my only friend, you know? These two morons poisoned your aunt. She should be the one apologizing to you for her sons. Or have you forgotten about Lucia? Hey, wait. Did you two poison on Lucia? Are you out of it? That bitch only thinks about selling you to the highest bidder. Too bad she proved to be so resilient. You're just like your father. I'm nothing like that asshole. You're no better, you're even worse. You know what? You're not a supervillain. You're nothing but a super moron. Are you crazy? He's sick. You can't arrest my boy. Madam, come down. We'll look into it. Assholes. God damn you. He didn't do anything. God, what is all this? God, yeah. Do something. Tell your friend to let him go. Elia, calm down. How can I calm down when my kids get arrested? You promised me. Elia, there is nothing I can do. They poisoned Aunt Lucia. They also killed Maria, the girl you booked for Dan. Dan was the brain behind it, and Jekka the brown. It's a lie. You're lying. You are doing it for him to stay close to him. Who are you after that? You bitch, rat, traitor. I thought we were friends. Let's go, come on. Bitch, rat, traitor. It's all your fault. God damn you. My boss were set up and you. You. Bitch. Bitch. Ella, come down. 
Изи. Yes, this is a good question. We have a psychiatric evaluation set up for tomorrow. Looks like he actually isn't right in the head. What will happen next? Will the ghost case be closed? It's up to the chief, not me. In this case, it will be closed. Chief doesn't like hopeless cases. Right, it ruins his statistics. <sighs> well, it's late. Time to go home. See ya. Tell your wife I didn't say hi. <laughs> okay. Will do. Are you sleeping here? Yes, I don't want to go home. What if I run into Ella? It's not your fault that her sons are like this. I know that, but how can I explain it to her? I suppose I don't have a friend anymore. She's the one who raised them like this. No, in this case, I'm not sure if it's nurture or nature. Her husband was a real sociopath. Hitting her black and blue, cheating on her left and right. She loved him and put up with everything like a real woman. Then had it the worst. That asshole couldn't make peace with having a disabled son. He accused Elia and cheated on him, even though Dan looks just like him. So no wonder he went berserk with childhood like this. What about you? What about me? How did you get involved in the underworld? I had no choice. My godfather first took me with him when I was ten. I thought it was a game. Have you thought about changing something when you grew up? Of course I have, but you need money for this. Besides, godfather and Aunt Lucy are my only family. How can I abandon them? Speaking about families, someone needs to go. Right. Bye. There is this quote about family. I don't remember who from. If you want to make this world better, go home and love your family. That's a good one. The ghost also loves quotes. I remember, thanks. Good night. Good night. Dennis? Yes? Who's asking? What can I do for you? I don't have a lot of pretty ladies visiting me. How old are you? Does it matter for true love? Are your name Harley Quinn by any chance? I feel like Joker had their first meeting. No, it isn't Harley. I'm Olesya Zubova, junior detective. Oh, what can I do for you, Miss Zubova? Do you know who he is? Maybe I do. And maybe I don't. Depending on what you want to hear and what I get for the right answer. No. You aren't the ghost. You can hold a candle to him. Why is that? Because I have cerebral palsy. I have problems with legs, not my brain. Where are you going, beauty? I am the ghost. Like it or not. I will go down in the history of the underworld as Mega Brain. Everyone will be scared of me. I have an army of guys like Jekka. I will go on killing even inside. And no one will stop me. Nadia. 
Nadia? Where are you? Nadia? Weird. Thank you. It's delicious. Hello, Lada. Hi. Do you know where Nadia is? We are at a party at a nightclub. What? A party? Celebrating the coming tour. Nadia is fine. I am looking after her. How long have you been here? Do you have a girlfriend? Nadia? Your husband has called me. And so what? He is worried about you. Are you going to go home? Lada, are you crazy? The party is in full swing. Come on, girl. Relax and enjoy it. You shouldn't drink. It's just a sip. I'll be okay. Maybe you will, but the baby. Don't be a basket. Just a sec. See? She's coming. Come on, smile. Lux was here. I didn't expect to see you. Champagne, please. Why not? I have a lot of leisure time on my hands. I came to greet my colleagues. I hope you won't disgrace yourselves like the last time. I mean, when you stumbled. Yes, because someone tripped me up. Oh, really? Wow, you have a lot of friends. By the way, where is your husband? Did you get a divorce? Doesn't he mind his pregnant wife going clubbing? Paulina, darling, my husband is so kind, devoted and understanding. He's happy for me that I can have some fun. A man like him is hard to find. How do you know, by the way? You don't have a husband. I don't. But I have all your roles and a ticket to New York. So thank you and keep inviting me. Okay, girls, have fun. Bitch. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing, just thinking. About the ghost? You know, I'm confused. It doesn't make sense. What doesn't? Nothing does. Dan's hate, his physical condition, he can't be the ghost. He can't. Let the experts sort it out. He definitely committed the last crime. Or rather, his brother under his guidance. Yes, the last one. But the rest? The previous ones? What about them? When Danilo was killed, Dan was around 17. Believe me, he was already smarter then. That's the weird part. I thought I'd be jubilant when I catch the ghost. My life will suddenly make sense. But now I realize that all I have left is exhaustion and emptiness. Nadia, let me drive you home. Lada, come on. Are you kidding? I've just started to relax. I'm sick of being home. Think about your baby. Darling, go live your own life. Sorry, I forgot you don't have one. Have a drink then. Come on, Lada. Go, Lada, please leave me alone. Nadine! Alejandro! It has been ages. Two years, and now I see why. You have done a lot in this time. Yes. Congratulations. Now I see. 
why Petrova is going to the U.S. and not you. I'm so sorry. I'm not too upset about it. I've just came back from the European tour. Besides, I wouldn't feel comfortable on a plane right now. It's a shame. It's fine. I was going to offer you a great job. Steal you from your theater. What kind of job? I'm intrigued. It's better than New York. Better than any tour. I'm looking for a prima ballerina. I envisioned you on this role. Wait, what if I get back in shape very quickly? Hardly. No offense. Unless this miracle happens in a month's time. Hi, Roman. I haven't seen you like this for a while. I've been waiting for you. What are these papers? Mom has been under the weather, and there is a board meeting today. She asked me to analyze the investment fund's report. And you couldn't resist. I thought you have sworn off business. As your father says, happens to the best of us. You shouldn't have left the corporation. You took to it like a duck to water. I don't want to be a duck. I want to be a person. Well, if you look at it at this angle, yes. How was your day? Fine. I think we caught the ghost. The ghost? Mm -hmm. And you are so calm about it? You've been waiting for it for years. I have, but it wasn't what I expected. Hold me. Maybe I'll feel better. <sighs> Hi. Wow! I can't believe I'm not the first to come home. What's with the face? You don't like your wife to come home late? Exactly. Welcome to my world. Nadia, what the hell? You can't drink, you're pregnant. I can't leave either. Okay, I want us to go to couples therapy tomorrow. We have a problem, Nadia, and we should solve it before the baby comes. Dmitro, my dear, your work is my problem. You love it more than you love me. And the girl who's running in circles around you there, deal with it. And we won't need any couples therapy. Okay, let me wash my face. Good night.
What do you mean, that's it? The ghost was arrested. Case closed. Hand in your ID. We don't need you anymore. Are you sure, Danny, the ghost? I strongly doubt it. The ghost entered the apartment unnoticed. Neither Dan nor Jack are able to do it. I can believe that Jack could kill someone, but picking locks like a pro? No, that's not him. Keep your opinion to yourself. We have his confession. It's enough to close the case. If you keep insisting, we can reconsider your own breaking and answering. Okay. No need to reconsider. It's your case. If it's closed, it's closed. I was just trying to help. We don't need your help. <sighs> don't forget the ID. Whatever. I can't believe Danilo has been dead for six years. Yes, time flies by. Too fast. Wait for me, okay? Sure. I'll wait. Hello. Hi. 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 Danilo Yefimovich. Are you here because of the anniversary too? You must be his family. I never met any, to tell the truth. He wasn't from this city. I'm Olesya, his fiancé. And I'm his wife. This is his son. No, it must be a mistake. Danilo wasn't married. I can show you the marriage certificate if you want. Good morning. Morning. Nadia, what are you doing? I do what I want. It's my life. You aren't thinking about our baby. You aren't thinking about me. You're always at work. What am I supposed to do? Do you want me to quit or what? To stay home with you? How will we make our living then? Have you thought of that? Listen, your father's security firm... They work the same hours, sometimes at night. At least... They don't have chicks that will throw themselves on you. What's going on with you? I barely recognize you. You've never been so insecure before. This isn't just the hormones. We need to deal with it. You don't need to deal with me. You need or deal with you and your chicks you hang out with. You are not listening. And you aren't listening to me. I want you to be around. I want many things too. Like bringing back the girl I married, who was fun and smart, and not jealous. But I have a feeling she isn't here anymore. Or she never was there. What are you saying? That I'm hypocrite? I need to go to work. I don't understand. Why did Danilo lie to me about being single? And why are you so calm about him having a fiancé? Did you know about me? Of course. Danilo and I never had secrets from each other. Besides, you never were his fiancé. Yes, I was. We were dating. We had plans for the future. No, him and I had plans for the future. As you can see, we have a son. 
And you, you were his job, for which he was paid handsomely. His job? Yes. Danilo was a highly specialized expert, industrial espionage. Your father's competition hired him to help win a big tender. Danilo said, the easiest way was for Zubov's pampered and adored daughter. You. He tell me about you crushing him like a puppy, making plans. We'd laugh like crazy. It can be true. You're lying. Is my marriage certificate also a lie? You even weren't at the funeral. Yes. I was paid not to be there. I can even tell you by whom. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Isn't it nice waking up next to me instead of that old hack? Don't even compare it. What's going on? Is something wrong, darling? My phone. It's not working. Funny. It was fine yesterday. Shit, shit, shit. Shit! What's wrong? All her pictures were in it. Didn't you send copies to your email or somewhere? I never got to it. I didn't know that it would break. Calm down. The old hag doesn't know that. You showed her the pics earlier. She saw them. She doesn't need to see them again. Everything will be fine. Thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. Could he have copies? Maybe he sent them to someone? Oh. Everything was destroyed with his mail. Thank you again. I will send you the rest of the money right now. God. Is it really over? Hello. Let me guess. Your mistress sent you. Or do you work only for Zubov? It doesn't matter anymore. I'm here as a true envoy to settle down some issues connected with certain photographs. I have no idea what you're talking about. I hope you will be a gentleman about it and delete Yevgenia's personal photos. Do you want me to dance Can Can for you too? Can Can? No. What shall I tell my boss? Tell your boss to shove his gentlemanly offer. Well, you know. If that's what you want, I just wanted to give you a chance to fix it. If you don't delete these photos right now, you will not be able to look Yevgenia in the eye, or anyone else. Have a nice life. Hey, listen. What did you mean I won't be able to look them in the eye? It's a shame you didn't hear me. Psycho. Baby, I'm out of here. Is something wrong? The chain, I need a wrench. Well, Sashko, bye. Bye, Clara. It was a pleasure. Same here. Come back for a cup of tea. Tea? Maybe. Clara, wait. Why did you post online your and Trubetskoy's reality show? The tops won't like it. You'd better delete it. What do you mean? This. The bastard. Let me in. I'll leave the bag here. Pervert! <sighs> mm. 
Is he kidding me? I don't understand how one can could do this. I hate him. Baby. What happened? Who hurt you? Just tell me. Leave me alone, all of you. What the hell happened? She found out about Danilo. His wife and son were at the grave. I told you she would find out sooner or later. God damn this timing. Excuse me, Evgenia, you have a visitor. Who? The police. Police? Hi. How are you? The doctor says it was success. You will be okay now. What's wrong? Are you okay? Shall I call the doctor? I'm begging you. Go away, please. Did I do something wrong? Please. Just go. Go. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't want to upset you. I'm going. Just call me if you need something, okay? Hi. I'm listening. How are you? Still alive? See, I'm calling you first. Grigori. It's good that you called. I wanted to warn you. I want to tell Clara who killed her parents. I can't live with this burden anymore. Hey, have they cut out your brain with the tumor? Grigori, if you saw what I saw during the surgery, you would understand. I don't want to go back there with this on my conscience. It's too scary. I can't go through it again. Go back where? She's definitely crazy. Dmitro, we have a problem. What now? I've unlocked this dance computer. He has a lot of quests already going on. So his accomplices are still at it while he's relaxing in sight? Moreover, I think they have something on Clara. You should warn her. I'd love to, but I don't know where she is. They fired her this morning because they don't need her anymore. Didn't she tell you? Seems so. How nice. Rat. Here you are, back home. Are you happy now, having set up my boys, you cops whore? How much did they pay you? Or did your detective pay you with sex? Ellie, I didn't set up anyone. Go sleep it off. What? Open the door. Clara, open up. I won't leave you alone. I'll run you to the ground. Open up. Open up, bitch. Goddamn you. Nobody wants you because you're a bitch. Well, what will you say now? That your son loves me and wants to save our marriage? I don't know what to say. I didn't expect that from Dima. I did. It's divorce now. Nadia, don't be in a rush. Maybe there is a good explanation. They aren't kissing or anything. They aren't doing anything bad. They aren't doing anything yet. 
I'll have you know that I have self-respect. I won't be humiliated by anyone. Is that clear? Yes. Don't get upset. It's bad for the baby. Tell this to your great son. What he can and what he cannot. What do you want from me? How can I help you? Now you're asking. Of course. You can't. I just came to tell you that you will never see your grandson. Do you know why? Because it's all your fault. You didn't control your son and you didn't make him quit this job. You know what? Divorce him. Go ahead. What? Yes, divorce him. See if I care. I'm tired of being between a rock and a hard place. I'm done. Sort it out between yourselves. Is that how you're talking now? Okay. I'll sort it out. Don't you doubt it. Just don't whine when I do. She has left. Got it. I'm waiting. Open up! God damn you! God damn you, bitch! Open up! Open up, bitch! What's going on here? Are you here to visit with your bitch? Because you're as shitty as her. Birds of a feather. There is no need for insults. Insults? You and this rat have ruined my kids' lives. Your sons have ruined their own lives. Too bad that you don't realize it. They are good boys. They've been Clara, fed up. open up. It's me. You're a cop just like her daddy. That's why you get along so well. Her daddy? What do you mean? Wait! What are you doing here? You didn't even say goodbye. Don't you think it's rude? Are you here to talk about manners? I'm here to warn you about potential danger. God, what's now? My arm, it hurts. So, you mean you still can figure out the participants of this so-called quest? Well, Vasil and his colleagues are trying, but it's complicated. I think you should leave the city for a while. I'd love to, if I had somewhere to go. What is this? A key to a money box? You wouldn't need a key for that. This is from my parents' cabin. There is nobody there right now, and it's not far from the city. You will be comfortable there. Dmitro, thank you for the offer. I really appreciate it. No one ever cared about me so much. But I can't. I don't want to put you at risk, besides. Your wife won't like it. Firstly, my wife doesn't need to know. And secondly... We don't have a witness protection program, so you really should take the keys. I won't. Clara? Your neighbor said you were a cop's daughter. Don't listen to her. You saw what state she was in. She wouldn't remember who her own father was. Katya? Katya. 